Alright, welcome back guys, and today I think what I'm going to do is install a little bit of a shore power. Uh, it's going to be a little simple setup, and it's going to work just fine to run some of the appliances that I want to run. So if you want to see how that's done, stick around. So for our shore power, we have a little 30 amp receptacle here that we're going to be uh, installing on the side of our trailer. And we will place that about right in here somewhere. And it will be tucked in behind the uh, refrigerator. And for our power, I am just using a surge protector. We'll mount that on the back wall behind the refrigerator. We'll cut this cable, get it wired up here, and we'll test it out. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is remove our refrigerator, get our drawer out so we can get some working space. Alright, where I think I'm going to place this is I know that uh, I got plenty of clearance back here and I just kind of arbitrarily picked a spot and make sure I've got plenty of clearance over the fender. So I've made a mark, we're about five and a half inches down, we're about an inch and three quarter away from the back wall. I think that's where we're going to punch our hole and then uh, we'll get that set in and then we'll figure out where we're going to put our surge protector, get it wired and uh, get things sealed up then we get it tested out so let me hook up my drill and uh, punch a hole so as we get started we're gonna go ahead and take our hole saw and we'll start punching a hole in we'll go in about quarter inch three eighths of an inch deep then we'll go on the outside and uh, work our way in that way we have a nice clean hole and nothing gets splintered if I shoot all the way through I'm surely gonna ruin that file on and if I do it from the outside, I would surely ruin the finish of the wood on the inside. So we're going to attack it from both sides. That way we have a nice finish. So I'll be using an inch and seven eighths hole saw. And uh, I think that's going to be about the right size. So let's do it. So we have a nice clean straight cut and uh, we would insert so things are pointing straight up and down put that in there oh yeah very little movement so we'll have a couple of holes that we'll uh, fasten to the side here and we'll put down some probably some white proflex get that on there position and attach that all right, so next step, I think, is to figure out where we want our surge protector on the inside. Looks good. All right, so for our mounting purposes, I think we just might, might install that centered, straight up and down, side to side, and we'll call that good. Be able to reach in and uh, still plug things in and call it good. Now, I know a lot of people when they wire their trailers, 
they use a 20 amp circuit breakers and all that good thing. Uh, I decided to use a surge protector only because the only thing that I think I'm going to be plugging into this is the refrigerator, which draws very little power, and an occasional coffee pot, maybe. Got to have that morning coffee. Other than that, maybe charge a few pieces of electronic. I'm not running no 5000 BTU uh, air conditioner. I'm not running a 1500 watt heater. So uh, this little thing is going to serve its purpose well. Simple and uh, it's going to be effective. So let's uh, get that mounted in there and then we'll worry about wiring it up. So to locate our surge protector, we're just going to take a level and uh, just strike a line. We'll probably be putting it about that area somewhere. And we'll have our lines. Now the holes are about 4 and 11 sixteenths apart. So we'll drill one hole, measure over for our other, and uh, get some screws in there and we'll see if we can't line it up and get this thing fastened down. Once it's fastened down, I will probably get me another little piece of wood and attach on the top. That way it doesn't bounce off. So let's get our holes lined up. We'll get that thing mounted. Mm -hmm. Now to just make things a little easier, I have a, my dividers. We are set 4 and 11 16 inch apart. Center to center on that hole. Made a mark. We'll just push that right there. Now I know where to drill my holes. So we've got to find a couple of screws that we can use. We'll drill our holes, get those in place, set this on, and see if everything fits like it's supposed to. All right, so I think what's going to work is we're going to be using a couple of number six by three quarter, and that seems to be what will work just fine. So tap a couple of holes in here, set our screws, and see if we can't get that as tight as we can up against the wall. Couple more turns and that'll be a good fit. Alright, tighten her down just a little bit and set that up there. There we go. No movement. That's just what we're looking for. Alright, we're about halfway there. So I'll end up making me a little block. We'll fasten that to the back wall. That'll keep things from lifting out. Probably use a little piece of mahogany and make it look nice. Uh, although no one's no one's going to see this. So now we just have to figure out where we're going to cut our wire, get that part installed. All right, moving on. Let's uh, let's see if I can't get a little piece of wood up here. Okay, got me a little piece of rough cut here, mahogany and uh, just rounded the corners just to make it look good. Punched a couple holes, countersunk. We'll set that up there, kind of eyeball it. Drill a little bit of a hole here. And then we'll fasten our screws.
Now that isn't going anywhere. Nice. Okay, let's get it wired up. Alright, we'll be giving ourselves a little slack here, so I put a, uh, a uh, wire tie on that. And that way when we connect, we'll put another one here and hold things in place. So I went ahead and marked my wire where I need to cut it. We'll go ahead and get that cut and we'll get it wired onto here. We'll go ahead and uh, get our sealant on there and we'll get it ready to attach on the side. So while we have this in place, we'll go ahead and mark for our holes. That way we can pull things out. We'll go ahead and get things pre-drilled, run our wire, connect that, put it back in place, seal it, and fasten her down. So let's go ahead and pre-drill some of our holes, figure out what screws we're going to use, get it sealed up, wired up, and we test it out. So we'll go ahead and put our protective collar on and we'll just slide that in, give ourselves some room, and then we'll go ahead and connect our wires. So our connector is color coded, color coded, and we have green for ground, which we'll go ahead and install that one first. And then we have black. And last but not least is the white. Nice. Nice good connection. Now we can slide the collar over. Alright. Now we are ready to seal it, we'll pre-drill our holes, seal it, and fasten her on. Now just to make sure that the uh, file line doesn't split out when we put our fasteners in, we're just going to slightly <laughs> countersink those just a little bit. We're about ready to put our sealant on, put that up there, we'll get that fastened on, we try it out.
for the inside to button it up. We got one more cable clamp here, and we'll just go ahead and get that fastened down. There we go, nice and clean. Now we're ready to try it out. Let's hook up some power to it. Alright, so let's take the cover off here. Plug in our power. Come around on the inside. Click our switch and see. There we go. Protected and grounded. So we're good to go. We'll just uh, test out a plug or two. Make sure things are actually working. Put our fridge in, plug it in, see if it's uh, <coughs> pulling some power for us. Things are working. And because we are plugged into shore power, we can run our setting on high. that run for a little while. Things are working. Alright, I think we're going to let that run for a little while and uh, I know it's going to get up to temperature. Power's working fine. Out of sight. Yeah, I think it's going to work great. So uh, we'll come back and take a look at that here in about 20 minutes and uh, see what's next all right we've been running for a little while now and uh, I set this about as low as uh, it will go which is a negative 8 so it's still got a ways to go but if we open it up take a look at our thermometer we are down to about two degrees two maybe three degrees so it's got a little bit more to go but whew, that's cold and uh, <laughs> yeah it's working great and as far as the heat goes so we have our little little deal here that we can see so if I do a surface let's do a surface here so for our surface temp for our pump we're reading 93.4 degrees. It was about 95, kind of shut down a little bit and then started back up. So, whenever you're plugged into 110 and you have it on high, it generates about 95, 96 degrees. Uh, if you're on 12 volt and plugged in, it registers around the 80s, something like that. So, um, does put out a little bit of heat when you're on 12 volt but not much so the back can be closed and uh, I'm not too worried about building up a lot of heat but when you're on 110 and you're running this thing it does jump up there to about 98 degrees so uh, you're gonna want to leave this back end open if you're running on the shore power and in the meantime <coughs> while that was cooling down I was playing around with my switch and uh, I decided I was going to use that touch switch. So while things are hooked up, turn the power on 
and that light illuminates. So that's why I have the switch. <laughs> I couldn't couldn't put that couldn't put the touch switch in here and figure a way to tighten the nut. So we're going to do something a little bit different. But uh, with that touch switch, we turn it on, and then if I hold that switch, now things dim down. So. I was looking forward to that once I had discovered uh, by stupidity that these are dimmable switches. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Doesn't uh, doesn't bother me that that light stays lit because now we're on this switch, and turn it on. Love it, love it. Yeah. <clears throat> that looks pretty cool. So for mounting our switch, I also made a little side plate here. Let's see if I can't get it out. There we go. So I uh, made me a little switch, beveled the edges, drilled some holes for the screws, drilled the center out for the switch, and then uh, that's going to work out just fine. Make sure that it doesn't fall down in there. And then all I have to do is punch a little hole right here, about one inch hole. My switch plate will go on there and my switch will fit right in there. And we'll have it functioning and looking good. So let me tidy that up and uh, give you a shot when it's done. So we've got our switch in place here, and all we have to do is turn it on. We've got power, touch the switch, boom. We've got lights, and we touch and hold. Dims are right down. Works great. And it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> this is an afterthought, so uh, I kind of made it work. I'm liking it. Oh yeah. I like it. Works great. Alright, I think we're going to call this video a wrap. We've got our shore power connected and we did get uh, our dimmer switch here on the back. and. I'm pretty happy with that. So things are coming right along. Okay, that being said, we are now like at the finish line. So I have uh, probably a couple little things I'd like to do, but I want to get this thing finished up because I got a trip planned out and uh, well, we got to hit the road. So, um, It'll probably be about two weeks before you see the next video. That'll give me time to go through, mod out what I want to do, and uh, then we'll do a little debut. And then I think after that we might have one more little video of something else that I want to do to the trailer before it's like totally finished. So, it's been a long time and uh, had a lot of fun. And I hope that at least some of you got inspired. I know a lot of you got the plans, you started your own build, many of you have completed your build and they look fantastic. And uh, I hope you keep going on with the adventures and getting out there and doing something besides sitting in the house <laughs> during this, uh, whatever you want to call it, 2020. So, a couple weeks, I'll see you. Until then, stay tuned.